Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. I was asked today by one of our members if I could check the daily chart again and um, specify again the resistances or targets up here, which we can do. I think they've changed a little bit. So we want to do that in the video here together. Um, this is the daily chart. Of course, we haven't taken a look at it in, in a long time. I think it, it's worth doing that again. Um, what we can do, we first of all take a look here at the bigger picture. And then we go to the smaller time frame. Looking at the bigger picture, the idea is still that in a in an optimistic, from an optimistic point of view, from a bullish point of view, a larger wave two bottomed here in June um, last year. Okay, so this was around 21 and a half, 22 cents, which is also a key um, invalidation point. So if the price breaks below it. Absolutely, you know, there, there's no wiggle room left and we are not in this scenario anymore, which is highlighted here in the white wave count, which is the bullish case in which the price uh, has to turn around to um, yeah, start that third wave basically here to the upside before breaking the invalidation point. Because if the invalidation point, the name says it, you know, it's invalidated. Um, that doesn't mean ADA will, you know, it's finished but it means that ADA w might not recover this bull market. I mean, it is it is what it is, you know, I'm not making the market, but we try to identify the relevant parameters to read the market and based on probabilities come up with the most likely scenarios. But the white count is still the working thesis. I mean, if ADA manages to get all the five waves completed all the way up here to um, around about $4 plus, yeah, we will have to see. I will actually take that one out and we can update it with this Fibonacci zone for waves three, four, and five. So this is really what I'm watching for in this bull market. Not further, you know, I'm not going to go crazy like $100, $200 plus. This is a big mistake. We don't want to look at long-term targets. These are just here for illustrative purposes. They just allow us to understand what a long-term roadmap could look like in the rarest of cases only. Um, these are reached like Bitcoin was pretty much the only one that fulfilled its long term projections. That's just sp special to the crypto market because most of these projects are not here to stay. Well, maybe ADA is, you know, but we will have to see. First of all, I think it's all about taking it level by level. As far as we can really watch, you know, for it, well, we can really not look any further than possibly these five waves and we don't want to because anything else is far, far too too far away too far away um what are we watching for so ideally in the white count we completed a wave one to the upside in five waves into the march highs when the price topped around 81 cents and then we had a wave two pullback i mean that might be finished right that wave two we talk about that pretty much every day um but I need to see a little bit more action. Price action from the low looks interesting, but we haven't even taken out that swing high at 42 cents, which I wanna see next. Um, but then if the third wave starts from here, we're talking about the main third wave, we wanna get it, we wanted to get to the 1.38 extension. Now here's where I need to adjust that box. Yeah, because we are looking for the 1.38 extension of the first one, two setup. It should take us to $1.96 plus. And this would be for this third wave. It can always go higher. The fourth wave would then typically retrace into the region around the 100% extension, maybe $1, $1.20. And then the fifth wave should send us higher, possibly to 268, 335, maybe higher. It, you know, I'm not ruling out the $4 region, but it depends on where the third wave ends. So if the third wave gets to the 1.786 extension, which would not be uncommon, that's 335, then the fifth wave should get into the $4 region. If the third wave only really does the bare minimum, then we might only see the 268 level or just barely touch the all-time high in the fifth wave. Okay, so this is a long-term projection, not a guarantee. First, we need to see if the third wave is done, okay? In the very first instance, we have to watch if the, if the main support zone is holding because yes, I talked about the invalidation point, but already below 29 cents, bullish follow through will reduce significantly in likelihood. So that's the long-term chart. Um, as members, you can access that. You know, if you're a silver or gold member, you get access to our trading view charts. Um, these are updated regularly, yeah? So looking at the shorter time frame, then, just really wanna focus on really the short term from this wave two low that I just showed you. Here, we can see that not much changed. The price is still following our price channel. 
it's quite good actually. Um, following that price channel, it should finish soon because we've now reached, I mean, break out soon to the downside because we have reached the trend line. So we're now stuck in at resistance and we've reached the 1.236 extension at 40.6 cents. But if we are dealing with a more bullish scenario and a third wave in the white count, okay? So again, to confirm that really this main wave two has bottomed that I just showed you on the daily chart, I need to see all five waves on the smaller time frame, which should take the price to 43 cents plus in wave five. The third wave here, ideally would get to 41.6 cents. Now that doesn't mean we have to get there. We're now in a, at a point where it could get rejected at any point. We're now in resistance. But if we can get to 41.6 cents, then we can make a case for the white count in which um, we're watching for a larger five wave move up, okay? If we don't get to the 1.38 extension at 41.6 cents, then I wouldn't really call that a viable third wave. It could still work, but most likely will fail. Okay, so I need that five wave pattern completed and the waves four and five are still outstanding. Um, so that's going to be interesting. So once I see a top, I will offer a, a, a support region. This is currently not fixed. You know, this will still move a little bit that way for support region, depending on where we top. Um, and at the moment, the next micro resistances are 40.6 cents, 41.6 and then 43.3 cents basically for further upside. And, but we've now reached the trend line. So this is interesting. Yeah. We clearly have three touch points now. It used to be two, but. I think now it looks a bit like a three wave touch point. Um, so it could be interesting for today. You know, did we maybe get a breakout? One of these trend lines we have, the lower one is quite interesting and the upper one as well. So I would pay attention to that today. Um, and, but if we go higher, it might be limited to, you know, maybe 41.6 cents or 43.3. We've already had quite a strong move. So we might get a bit of a pullback here in wave four before we push higher. But then the problem is, I can really only, let's say, trust um, the white count here, which is more bullish as long um, if, if we get the third wave to the 1.38 extension. So this is what we're watching for today. The trend is still up against the locally, right? Locally, the trend is up against the um, trend line here. So if we break out of this channel, it could indicate that we have a top of sorts in place. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.